The objective of this meeting was always to raise the profile of earthquake early warning and talk about what is it we need to do to implement a public early warning system in the state. And then of course the Napa earthquake occurred just a week before this event um, and so now that's the spotlight is really on this topic and so we're really hoping to make progress. We have been demonstrating that earthquake early warning is feasible for uh, more than two years at this point with our demonstration early warning system. Um, but what we were lacking was the sort of focus to bring the political will to play to actually fund the system and actually do this right. So the system uses an array of seismometers across California that rapidly detect the beginnings of earthquake, locate the earthquakes and then push out a warning ahead of the shaking. So we need the public investment to make that system more robust, a little bit faster because it can be still faster and then to educate the public about how to use the warnings. Yeah, yeah. Every single person will get a warning a few seconds before earthquakes. Uh, train systems can be slow and stopped, reducing the amount of damage. Elevator doors can be opened. We can reduce the impact of future earthquakes, both in terms of dollars lost and in terms of lives saved. This is only the 10th day anniversary of the Napa quake. Uh, just the latest reminder, thankfully not a too tragic one, but the latest reminder of the urgency with which we need to act in California to deploy an earthquake early warning system to help protect Californians. That's our bottom line. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to be here after the next big one wondering why we didn't deploy the system uh, when the technology already existed. You talk to the, to, to the public, to the common person on the street who's sitting there looking at government, looking at business, looking at relationships, and you mention this to them, what's the first thing that comes to their mind? It's going to be, and we're not doing that today? Why? Why are we not? What's standing in the way? They expect us to find solutions, and they expect us to find the funding. I also want to express my appreciation to all of you, the leaders in this field, the experts, uh, the ones that are on the ground, the ones responsible for the implementation and the application of this ideal. It's long overdue. It's past time. No more conversation. It's a question now of political will. Money is always the excuse. Political will is what's lacking. This is about real people, human beings, real lives. It's the fundamental responsibility of government. These life and death things, you simply can't wait for others. Five, ten seconds today, with your help and your science, can you imagine what that does to a fire station to immediately open up their doors so that those doors are open in response. Can you imagine a doctor or doctors with scalpels in their hands ready to operate and getting early warning notice to delay that action because the ground is moving his or her patient? Based on all of your work, we are formulating a capability to be able to deliver earthquake alerts to the public at large, to businesses. It's in essence one of the most tremendous hazard mitigation programs that we could implement. We have identified earthquake early warning and uh, earthquake science as a high priority within the USGS and we are making some significant progress in being able to describe and uh, promote that priority within the Department of the Interior, the Office of Management and Budget, and within our uh, oversight and appropriations committees. Your goals are our goals, and your plan is our plan. It was really great to see the lineup of, of political figures who were here participating in the meeting, all talking about possible ways of getting the funding. We really think that there's a chance that we can actually make this happen following this meeting, following this earthquake. And the question becomes, if we can't make this happen after this earthquake, what is it going to take?